Hi, everyone. My name is Max Ostermeyer. I'm the CEO and founder of Implant Data. And we are going to transform the management of glaucoma patients. So as you may know, glaucoma is a chronic eye disease, as most of the eye disease is age-related, and several will see a strong increase in the number of the patients in the coming years. The bad thing about glaucoma is that it's causing a permanent loss of eyesight. Um, and here you can see the different disease stages, early stage, mid-stage, late stage. Unfortunately, glaucoma is very often uh, detected at a rather advanced stage because the brain is able to compensate for um, loss of eyesight. Uh, eventually, it can lead to blindness of patients. Um, and it's important to understand it's a pressure-related disease. It means that increased pressure inside the eye is causing damages to the optic nerve, which over time leads to loss of eyesight. So the best you can do with a diagnosed glaucoma patient is really to preserve their current status because you, ne you cannot regain vision back to the patient. So there's different options to um, lower the patient's and control a patient's eye pressure. First line treatment is by medication. Patients have to apply eye drops to their eyes to lower the eye pressure. So there's more and more uh, non-invasive procedures, laser procedures. There's also now tube shunt, mixed devices, whatsoever. So there's a wealth of treatment options to really control a patient's eye pressure. But um, it mostly depends on the patient's adherence. And it also, um, all these therapeutic options have limited effectiveness. Patient's response is changing over time. If you create an, an artificial outflow by a tube shunt, over time that uh, will be obstructed again because of tissue growth. So, the big problem in managing glaucoma patients is not that there is not sufficient therapeutic options. The big problem is that right now, monitoring is only office-based. Typically, a glaucoma patient is only seen a few times a year by the eye doctor, where they always take a measurement of the eye pressure. But we, uh, in between office visits, there is no understanding at all what a patient's eye pressure really is and how effective a therapy is to the patient. And as pointed out, um, therapy adherence of patients is really bad because there is no way of self-monitoring. It's asymptomatic, so patients really don't feel if their eye pressure is too high uh, or if it's controlled. Um, and these are all reasons why still so many patients are losing eyesight because of glaucoma. In order to change this, we have developed... Stop moving. We have developed the IMED system which consists of a tiny implantable microsensor, which is placed permanently in a patient's eye, so patients really don't feel it, they don't sense it. Um, and that sensor is able to continually measure and monitor a patient's eye pressure under normal life conditions. So data sent, sent, sent via an RFID device uh, into the, a web-based database where all the patient is collected. Uh, so the eye doctor would be able to early on understand, okay, so there's a problem, I have to do something, I have to change therapy, I have to further escalate therapy. We can also uh, introduce and empower patients by self-monitoring, which is improving the therapy adherence. Let me show you a brief video which, or how the system is going to work. So there's some sound, please, can you? Eye surgeries, such as cataract or glaucoma surgery, the harmless microsensor is placed permanently inside the eye, but the patient can't feel it, and it doesn't affect the vision. Measurement is initiated by the patient and telemetrically read out with a handheld device. After measurement, the data is sent and recorded to an app on a device of your choice. It allows eye specialists to pinpoint the therapy that works best for you to reduce and control eye pressure. So it really adds something to the current glaucoma care ecosystem. Uh, as I said, right now it's office-based, so we are not replacing in-office diagnostic, we are complementing it by providing home monitoring. Um, and it's also complementary to any therapeutic um, uh, or any therapy which is applied right now, because with our system, uh, patients Therapy can be really personalized. Right now, it's trial and error. Uh, but with our solution, we provide real-life data, enabling eye doctors to really uh, tailor the therapy to the individual need of a patient. So the product has been extensively tested in clinical studies. As I said, it's a, uh, an implant, a long-term implant. 
So safety and performance has been key in our clinical studies. We have now up to 10-year data in patients. It's e marked under the MDR. We also have obtained FDA breakthrough device designation. It was only one of, so far, eight ophthalmic devices which have obtained breakthrough device designation. And as you may know, that has uh, the advantage of an expedited uh, approval, but also the reimbursement. There's a new CMS program for breakthrough devices, uh, which ensures that you have from the first day on um, reimbursement in the US. See, business model is quite attractive, uh, not only for the company, but especially for the eye doctors. So the eye doctors have a high incentive to use our system. It has two components. It's, uh, on the one hand, the devices um, and the placement, surgical placement of the devices. But more importantly, it also produces uh, recurring revenues for the data provision. So uh, existing CPT codes for remote patient monitoring are applicable for our system. It means an eye doctor can bill up to 200 US dollars a month per patient for providing this remote patient monitoring service. So there's a huge incentive for eye doctors kind of using our system and also to more efficiently manage patients and keep patients out of the office and only get them in when it's really necessary. The so market potential is quite significant and further growing. We are addressing a global disease uh, in certain country, um, uh, uh, countries of the world, like in Asia, incidence is even higher. So, and we will do first revenues, uh, significant revenues next year. Uh, with the theme marking, we are starting to launch with early adopting eye centers across Europe. We are already in discussions with potential distribution partners uh, in Middle East and um, uh, Asia. Uh, and we will see certainly a jump in our revenues uh, once we have uh, FDA approval in 2027. The team is quite seasoned and experienced. Stefan and myself are the two founders. We have already done two startups before, which we successfully exited. We have people from the industry, from, like from Alcon. Uh, and we have also a very uh, seasoned board of directors with people uh, from Zeiss, GE, uh, Alcon. So I think uh, that has been a strong asset of ours in the past to have such a strong team here. Um, we accomplished so far uh, very important milestones. We have so far raised 20 million, a little bit more than 20 million, and have accomplished the FDA uh, breakthrough device designation, CE marking, long-term studies to really demonstrate uh, the value of our technology, have established strong IP with 16 patents, um, and a lot of publications kind of really presenting um, our progress. So we are right now out to raise another 10 million um, in order to fund the commercial launch with our CE Mark product, to move ahead with our um, FDA studies, and also to advance our pipeline. We are already now working on next generation products, uh, miniaturizing of the sensors, making them even smaller. And we are also working on a closed loop therapeutic device, so where the sensor is actuating the therapeutic action uh, means uh, releasing the drugs if the patient's pressure is out of control. So that would really eliminate uh, any therapy adherence problems or issues with patients. We are clearly positioning for a trade sale in a few years in the ophthalmic industry. Trade sale is the preferred exit. Companies like Alcon, like Bosch and Blomp, like j, j tend to acquire companies and technologies in rather early stage very aggressively, and especially in the glaucoma space. There have been several deals in the glaucoma space in the last five years, you know, where uh, companies have been acquired for half a billion up to a, a one billion. And uh, we are already on the radar screen of all these potential buyers, um, and maybe one of them will also come in in this funding around uh, with no strings attached. So in summary, we are addressing a huge unmet need and the number of patients growing significantly. We have accomplished important milestones with the CE marking, a strong team. Um, also, the business model is very compelling, uh, not only to us, but also to the users of our products. And as I said, we are offering also an extensive product pipeline of next generation products. Thank you very much. <laughs>